What's up YouTube, Pulse one here. I'm going to do a little review of some of the stuff that I uh, picked up from the flea market uh, this weekend. Uh, we went looking for a record player and found one. Uh, found some also, uh, some other vinyls that we really like because my wife uh, is into the kind of retro stuff. So uh, she's been collecting records and I've been picking records up for, you know, Kiss, Beatles, you name it. And um, we needed a record player. So I uh, ended up finding one uh, and I found some other cool stuff while we were there too. Um, first thing, uh, mostly Hot Wheels, but, uh, I, I thought this was really cool. Um, I found this in the, uh, the bin where, the, thank you, uh, I found this in the bin where my, uh, the guy that I usually go to, he sells, uh, eight Hot Wheels for five bucks. I told you a lot of them are first editions and stuff like that, and, uh, if you watch one of my other reviews that's going to get posted, uh, before this, uh, if you guys saw the review on the Chevelle, the 1970 Chevelle SS, and how much I like that body mold, um, you guys will know that I was pretty excited to find the first edition, the 1999 first edition, 1970 Chevelle SS. So now not only do I have multiple paint variations, but I also have the very first time that that mold was ever released. So uh, definitely... <laughs> Grabbed that one uh, quite excitedly when I had the chance. So we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. Uh, another one that I got was the uh, the 40s Woody. Right there. That was part of the uh, 8 for $5. Uh, another, this is actually my second, 1998 first edition Callaway C7. Same exact car, uh, silver and black. Nineteen ninety eight first edition nineteen sixty five Chevy Lowrider Impala. This may or may not be going to one of you. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to completely ruin the surprise, but uh, I'm sure this person knows who they are. Um, this is a uh, what year is this from? Two thousand Ferrari F fifty, I think it is. And it looks like the uh, the back actually opens up the the, uh, the engine compartment, which is pretty cool. This is a 2001 first edition Lotus M250. Right there. That's six. This is a 1999 Ford GT40. Um, now, I don't understand. Like, this is what I got. See how it's all yellowed? I don't quite understand what it is with this particular car. Because I bought another one earlier last week. And that card's yellowed too. Not quite as bad as this. But both cards, like the plastic is yellowed. This card is in better condition, but this one has a bunch of nicks all over it. But this one is lighter and this one is darker. So I, I picked up a second one because I want to open one of them because I really like that car and the paint a lot. So uh, I bought a second one to open. I just don't know which one I'm going to open yet. Um, another one I got. 1998 first edition Bad Mudder. It's a rally truck. Right there for you. So those are the eight. Those are the eight that I picked up for five bucks. Um, I got this for a few dollars, probably three, I think. I couldn't not get it. Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. <laughs> I had to pick that up, man, for just a few bucks. Um, what else do we got here? I picked this up from. Uh, Win Dixie on the way home. We had a barbecue last night, so it's another Camaro that I didn't have uh, the color variation on that yet. And now for loose items. I don't I don't know much about any of these, actually. So I'm hoping that you people out there in YouTube land help me out on identifying and telling me the worth of some of these cars. Um, now, okay, this is just a piece of junk that I got for 
a quarter, but it's a bug. I figured I could do some fun painting with it, maybe turn it into one of those little, you know, hippie wagon bugs or something with flowers on it and stuff. This is made in China, so nothing special about this. It was just the fact that it was a beetle, and my wife and I both collect Volkswagens, and I figured it would be cool to repaint. This, on the other hand, is a Hot Wheels. It's made in 1988. Hot Wheels 1988 Volkswagen. In really good shape. I mean, you can see on the hood there, there's a little ding. Um, and then it's got a little Hot Wheels tampo right there on the back. Um, but in really good shape for being a 1988 that's over 20-something years old. And there's a little one right there on the... Uh, right above the windshield so um, but yeah I found that too so I went ahead and picked that up that was a quarter um, I got this nothing special here I just thought it was a cool little roadster so I grabbed that it's a Hot Wheels uh, 32 Ford um, found this Hot Wheels uh, Batmobile right there that was a quarter so I went in and picked it up because I collect the Batmobiles and stuff. Um, this right here is 1981. And like I said, these are all in really good shape, man. Look at that. For a 1981. And there's really, this thing's like mint, man. There's no dings, no scratches, no nothing on this thing, man. This is like perfect condition car like I said it may only be worth a quarter all I paid for it was a quarter it may only be worth a quarter I just know nothing about these things I figured somebody like Dreadnought or somebody could uh, give me the what's up and uh, tell me uh, if I have anything special here or if I just have run-of-the-mill stuff um, this is a this is a matchbox snorkel fire truck this is from 2002 so I'm sure it's nothing crazy but I thought it was pretty cool pretty cool looking little fire truck so I went ahead and picked that up too. That was a quarter. Uh, all of them are a quarter except for uh, the truck. This truck right here. This is a uh, Hot Wheels, 1996 Hot Wheels. Uh, it's a Tropicana. It's like a fruit truck or something. Um, right there. But I, I paid a dollar for this. So uh, this side you can see there's some staining on the decal right there a little bit. A um, couple little paint chips here on the top edges, but all in all, is in pretty good. Uh, was in pretty good condition. Um, pretty good condition, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so I picked it up for a dollar. I know I've seen some videos where people say like the old rigs and stuff are uh, worth a little bit of money. So you know, I figured for a buck, uh, it, it's worth a dollar to me. So if it's only worth a dollar, then you know I got my money's worth. This one is from 1988 it's a Hot Wheels it looks like a Ferrari like F40 or something like that I'm assuming from the 40 on the front but a 1988 Ferrari it's got the uh, the back that opens up right there um, everything on this car the tampos on the side on the hood everything looks good except for this one little chip taken out of the top of the car right there um, all metal um, but definitely really cool, really, really cool car, and for a quarter I couldn't pass it up. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Now this one, this is the one that I really need someone to reply to me to. Really need someone to reply to me to and tell me what it is that I found here, because I personally think this is something special. It could be nothing, and if it is nothing, no, uh, you know, whatever. I just bought the ones that look nice for a quarter because I thought they were cool. But Dreadnought 320, if you know anything about this, please get back to me. I'm going to shoot you a message about this too. Um, but I found this car. And as far as I know, from what I understand, Hot Wheels' first cars that they made were in 1969. And I don't know if you can see it or not. Probably not. But if you flip it over and look really close at the date that that was made, this car is from 1969. It just says Hot Wheels with the trademark symbol, C Malaysia Incorporated, 
1969. So this car was made uh, 43 years ago. And look at that, man. The tampos are perfect on both sides. The paint is almost flawless. No major chips or anything. The wheels are perfect. No scratches. All the chrome is still there. I mean, this car is almost mint condition. And, I mean, and it, it rolls like a dream. It rolls better than almost any brand new Hot Wheels, man. Um, this intrigues me. So if anybody out there in YouTube world knows what this car is, what it's worth, please let me know. Um, you know, like I said, if it's only worth a quarter, so be it. I paid a quarter for it. I obviously thought it was worth a quarter at the time, which is why I picked it up. Um, but uh, if it's worth something more, I definitely uh, definitely would like to know. So, uh, yeah, just uh, anybody. Actually, there's one little chip. If you see it right right there on the on the edge of that fin, there's a little chip. Um, but I almost mint condition, man. It's, it's a really nice little car. And uh, if anybody has any info about it, please get back to me. So, um, oh, my wife ended up picking these up for me uh, from the Alien vs. Predator series. Uh, these are uh, the sketch cards where they actually have an artist that sits down and draws all these sketch cards out and they put them in packages. These are not reprints. Um, these sketch cards are actually hand-drawn by the artist. Uh, and she got me four of them. She got me the, uh, the Predator gauntlet here. This Predator portrait. This Predator silhouette. And then that's my favorite one right there. And if you look on the back, you can actually see, it tells you a little bit about the artist and who drew it. And if you look really close, you can see that there's actually a limited edition number. I think the highest number on any of these is 312. So, I mean, like, there's there's a 294, a 312, and two 300s. So, I mean, if you think about it, of each one of these cards, you know, there's only 300 of this card for the entire planet. Uh, and it's hand-drawn by Jeff Zugale or whoever that is. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. She picked these up for me as kind of like a late... Christmas gifts. She put them on hold with a guy that uh, that was selling them out there, and uh, she just picked them up for me today, which I thought was freaking awesome. So these are definitely cool. Um, if any of you are subscribed to my uh, to my you or YouTube, of course you are, but uh, to my Facebook channel, uh, you know, last night was a big night. Uh, a friend of mine uh, came over last night and was doing tattoos <laughs> here at the house, and I've wanted to do some for a while, uh, so I did. Uh, <laughs> Um, so I'll just give you guys a preview. Obviously, I, I've got it covered up with, uh, with uh, what you call it, uh, lotion and everything right now, uh, and it's got to take some time to heal. But um, this kind of goes back to answering Mario's uh, uh, a friend of mine, Mario. If you guys watched the video from Mario, uh, TF Collectors, he uh, in his letter he said, "I don't know how into the Transformer scene you are," um, and uh, the answer to how into the Transformer scene I am is. Um, right there <laughs> so started off with the Autobots logo and um, I can't have it too low because I've got to you know work with short sleeves but I'm gonna do like the uh, like the G.I. Joe logo the Hellboy logo the you know the X-Men logo the I'm just gonna cover my whole arm with logos from Thundercats G.I. Joe um, Transformers you name it um, but that was a couple of hours worth of work right there. And then um, and it turned out really good. It, like I said, my skin's all red and irritated and it's covered in lotion. So it'll look better later. But, uh, but yeah, that was fun. Uh, first experience and uh, I can tell you um, the outlining is nothing. It's when you get to the shading. That's where it really starts to hurt. Um, but no big deal. And I'm actually going over there today to get the Decepticons logo over here. Um, Star Wars symbols, all sorts of stuff. So um, it's going to be pretty cool, and uh, it's going to be a work in progress for quite some time uh, because it's going to go over my shoulders, onto my back, and everything. So, um, but anyways, uh, yeah, there you go, Mario. That's uh, that lets you know if I'm a Transformers fan or not. Um, but yeah, like I said, today after we go to the movie, 
the Decepticons logo is going on this side, and then we're going to work on just adding smaller logos all to about here on the arm all the way up, and then like over the shoulder, and then down the chest, and then over the back. Um, but like I said, that's going to take uh, quite a while before that all gets finished. But anyhow, uh, I'll do another video probably later tonight, and I'll show you the progress on the rest. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, look me up on Facebook, search for Hellspawn Collectibles, and uh, you'll see a picture of me there with my Celtic Predator mask that my wife got me. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you there, and uh, tune in next time.